Don't miss Trump next time. Man, oh man, well, that clip you guys just saw is the recent clip that's been going around. So guys, what's going on? It's your boy Flatty bringing you guys a brand new uh, video. Today we're going to be talking about Jack Black and his cancellation. And there's another issue going on. It made the whole situation uh, with Jack Black, well, Jack Black situation way, way worse. But let's get into the first reason, right? Jack Black is facing backlash and calls for cancellation, primarily due to uh, uh, this one controversy involving his band Tenacious D and. Uh, it ain't looking too hot now they ended up um releasing glass or gas however you want to say is uh the talent agency ended up releasing him after his trump comment on stage with a video clip you guys just saw and people are just clowning on jack black and everything like that they even canceled the upcoming tour which i think is kind of I think it's kind of dumb. I think you can have like uh, an understanding that that was a bad political take. And honestly, I don't really look to Jack Black for uh, political inspiration. I don't get any of my political advice from Jack Black. He's a comedian. I love the guy at the end of the day, you know, big fan of his. I am a Republican. Uh, his bandmates just, I guess, supported this crazy far left Democratic view or whatever. And it's not like all left people are, are saying this. It's the far left, the small minority that you see that's that are the loudest online, right? Anyways, they went ahead on Instagram and and glass or gas ended up posting this uh, this apology. It says the line I improvised, the line I improvised on stage Sunday night in Sydney was highly inappropriate, dangerous, and a terrible mistake. I don't condone violence of any kind in any form against anyone. What happened was a tragedy, and I'm incredibly sorry for my severe lack of judgment. I profoundly apologize to those I've let down and truly regret any pain I've caused. Now I'm going to be real. I don't think this is like a legitimate apology because uh, if you truly felt this way, uh, you truly were like. Like this this awakened on the inside to see your own hypocrisies i don't think you would have said it in the first place as old as you are no offense to gas but i think you would have learned this lesson uh far far before uh this point in time and uh at the end of the day it's just some who really cares right <laughs> who gives a foot i do i do understand that the dangerous rhetoric because he he has gone online before and and um has bashed other people for dangerous rhetoric. I know he's not the biggest fan of Alex Jones as well, but for him to do the same exact thing is hypocritical. But again, it's that it's that bias, and I think he was just trying to gain the favor in the room, or what he thought was the favor in the room, and thought he could get some cool, uh, quick points uh, scored in the social game that we all play every single day, and it just didn't work out for him. Anyways, Jack Black ended up getting canceled because of this. I mean, he could see him in the clip. He's laughing. He's like, "Whoa, what the?" You know what I'm saying? I don't think jack black would support that but at the end of the day we do have pictures of jack black just straight up going crazy with the biden 2024 stuff uh super super endorsement from jack black to uh to joe biden which is kind of crazy in my opinion anyways he goes on instagram and says i was blindsided by what was said at the show on sunday i would never condone hate speech or encourage political violence in any form after much reflection i no longer feel it is appropriate to continue the tenacious detour and all future creative plans are on hold i am grateful to the fans for their support and understanding and i'm going to be real this is very similar to gases so the pr team definitely had to step in with this one uh, absolutely insane even rolling stone covered this tmz covered this the tenacious d kyle gas uh dropped by talent agency after trump comment and all i gotta say is uh but um people are going after him for his childish antics online and and his tiktoks i'm just like are you kidding me like come on this is jack black this is jack this is kung fu panda This is Schoolhouse Rock, bro. This is Jack Black. This is the guy in Jumanji who was playing a black guy <laughs> playing as him as a white guy. Uh, I love I love his acting. You know, you could take you could take the art out of the artist if you want. Anyways, there's another issue going on with Jack Black, um, and it's completely unrelated to the Trump incident. Now, support for Autism Speaks. This is a campaign Jack Black has been supporting. It's a controversial organization, Autism Speaks. Uh, 
just causing further outrage amongst everyone else. Autism Speaks has been criticized for its ableist views and harmful campaigns before, uh, which, in many in the, uh, which many in the autistic community find stigmatizing and offensive. Everyone here in commentary knows it. If you're a fan of mine or you're a fellow creator that works with me, you definitely know this campaign uh, since we're all in it. You know what I'm saying? It's a jab. It's a jab. But Black's involvement with the organization in previous years, including attending fundraisers and events, has led to a renewed criticism of said of said organization. These incidents have led to significant public backlash against Jack Black. My personal opinion of Jack Black doesn't change. I think he might be a shill, a clone, if you will. Um, but I still like him at the end of the day, bro. There's still things I can like about people. You just don't have to like every aspect. Not everybody needs to be a cookie cutter and just like you guys. You can like somebody and denounce their actions and views. It's okay. It's all right. No one's going to come and kill you. Jack Black's not going to come and, and take your world away. And my, the other thing is, if you're looking at Jack Black for political advice, what do you, what, how did you get to this point in your life? <laughs> it's, it's, what the, f I'll never get it. It's like asking Whoopi Goldberg what she thinks about gun rights. You know, it's, it's so stupid. You're not going to get the answer you want. Anyways, they always say don't meet your idols and social media in this new age is making us see and meet our idols in, in ways we never thought we'd see them before. So this is all new. This is a new new uh, age. And unfortunately, um, we got to see Jack Black's true colors, even though he came out and wore the Biden 2024 thing. It is what it is. I still think he's a funny guy at the end of the day. I'll see you all in the next one. Subscribe if you're new. And I'm out of here.